Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now on question number 26 from this June 2022 international IGCSE paper from Cambridge. This is from the 0580 and also the 0980 syllabus. This is variant 2. Uh, this is paper 2, variant 1. And here we have a question about vectors. It says the diagram shows a triangle OAB. So this OAB is a triangle here. And a parallelogram OALK. So I know that for sure that this is a parallelogram. Okay, so those will come back for us to uh, use in this question, obviously. The position vector of A is called the vector A. And the position vector of B is called the vector B. The position vector means the vector from O to that point. So when it says the position vector of A, it means from O to A. Okay, so as you can see from here, O to A is A and O to B is B. K is a point on AB such that the length A to K or the ratio of A to K to K to B is 1 to 2. So like you can say this is like one part and this is like two parts in terms of this line. Okay, this, this line is twice the length of that line. It says find the position vector of L. So as we just discussed now, the position vector of a point, okay, in terms of A and B. And give you answer in the simplest form. Now, the position vector of a point is always referring from the vector from O to that point. So our objective is to find the vector from O to L. From O to L. Now, if I want to go from O to L, I can go from O to A, and then from A to L. I can go from O to K, and then K to L. Now, I know that this is a parallelogram here. This is a parallelogram. So the opposite sides are parallel and equal in length. So this side is parallel to that side and equal in length. And this side is parallel to that side and equal in length. So this vector here, k to l, is also a. This is also a. All right? So I can say, if I know the vector from O to k and then from k to l, I'm going to get from O to l. So I can say O to l is the same as O to k plus k to l. All right? Now, I know this part is already a. I need to find what O to k is, the vector from O to k. All right, now... Um, from O to K, if I want to go from O to K, I can go from, in terms of what I have A and B, I can go from O to A and then from A to K. Okay, vectors, they must be parallel to each other for you to be able to express them in terms of each other. So I can't go f directly from here using just A or just B. I know that O to K, to get from O to K, I can go from O to A and then from A to K. All right? Or from O to B and then B to K if I want. Both of them will be fine. However, I need to find them in terms of A and B. So first of all, O to A plus A to K. Let's let's deal with that. So we can we're now finding what O to K is. Okay, so we're taking the O to K part and we're trying to find out what that is. And once we found that, we'll be um, almost there. So O to K is O to A plus A to K. Again, I know O to A is A. That's fine. That's sorted out. Now, A to K. Now, how do I find what A to K is? Well, I know A to K is a part of the line A to B. If I go all the way along here, I'm going to go from A to B. And if I want to go from A to B, I can go from A to O and then O to B. So I can say A to, a to K is a fraction of A to B. What fraction of A to B is it? Well, it's one part out of three parts. So it's one third of the vector from A to B which is one third of the vector from A to B. If you want to go from A to B in terms of A and B, you're going to go minus A plus B. Okay, you have minus A plus B. So the vector from A to K, we can say is minus one third A minus, from A to K, sorry. So we can say the vector from A to K is minus one third A plus one third B. Okay, that's the vector from A to K, all right? So I've almost there now, okay, because um, I want that will help me find what O to K is now. Okay, so let me find what O to K is. Once I've got what O to K is, I can find what O to L is. So O to K is therefore O to A plus A to K, as we said. So we have O to A is a vector A, and A to, a to K is, you can say, plus, you can say one third B minus one, minus one third A. Just write it the other way around to make it look... Not neater. So that's going to give me a minus a third a, which is two thirds a plus one third b. Okay, so we have almost got there now. We know what we now know what this is as well. We found out what this is. So therefore, I can say o to l is o to k plus 
k to l and o to k as we just worked out is two thirds of a plus one third of b and k to l is the vector a so we have two thirds of a plus a that's two over three plus three over three that's five over three a plus one third of b and that is the vector from o to l the position vector of l and there we have the answer for this question um, a little bit involved but just following the principles of vectors okay you have to make sure that you know two vectors are the same if they are parallel to each other and the same length and as this is a parallelogram that's the properties of parallelograms opposite sides are parallel and the same length so i know k to l is the same as a vector a and I, if i go from o to k i have to go from o to a and then a to a to k which is like o to a plus a fraction of a to b which is one third of a to b and i know what a to b is so i can in the end get my answer okay slightly involved but it's not too difficult so there's the answer to this question number 26 uh, from this paper which is the june 2022 um, igcse cambridge paper from um you know the 0580 and also i think it's the 0980 syllabus the same variant um, one paper two other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here other questions from the topic of vectors in igcse can be found in the playlist that will appear in this playlist or in the link that will appear here for playlist for that and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link a video will appear in this region here which will take to, to uh, show you how to use my channel to help you with your revision and you know find the playlist that might help you um thank you for watching and see you soon